focus on creating a brand using Creative Cloud Express. You wanna create a, a company, whether you're doing illustration, graphic design, we usually have the hardest time with our own logo. Just so you know, I'm on express.adobe.com. It is free, everything I'm gonna be doing is free. So I'm gonna make a logo, so we're gonna just dive into this. I'm gonna click this little plus button. So rather than scrolling through all those templates, we're gonna just create a new logo. But what it does open up is this logos templates. Scroll through all of these to get inspiration or start from somewhere. There's a whole process that goes into sort of um, learning about somebody's business before just jumping in and creating a logo. It is Nerdy by Nature Designs. She wants it to be modern, bold, and include glasses. Some other questions that I would typically ask, we need to know the business name. Is there a tagline? Do we need to develop that tagline? Just anything about your business. You know, if you're creating branding, great. The goals, what are you trying to achieve? Your audience that you're after, I take it probably like other businesses, small to medium-sized businesses, that's the audience, and then any competitors she might have. So we just gotta kind of keep that stuff in mind. What type of logo do you want? Something modern and bold. And then you can talk about like personality traits. Get as much information as you can from the person and then if they have any like colors that they like or anything they're leaning toward we need to know those things and these just are just things we're going to turn around and give them in a logo also if they're interested in any fonts but right in here we'll just create some nerdy by nature designs we can jump in here and i can grab this one oakenberry why did i pick this because this font does say sort of modern and bold when i say modern here's the logo i ungroup it means that it's sans serif i'll get into that in a second let's take this text and we'll change this to nerdy. It's an all caps font, as we can see. From there, we have nerdy. Take this, we need to do nerdy by nature. So we'll just type in by here as well. And then we can duplicate this right over here. Hit this little duplicate button. Boom, there we are. Let's have some fun today. Nerdy by nature designs. You could create a type lockup and let's zoom in here. This is, if you do command plus and minus or hitting these little buttons down here, we can kind of zoom in. But we create a lockup by making sure that this is flush with the text above it. Nerdy by nature designs. Again, this is just the start. I would encourage you to maybe not dive into color just yet. We can go with a nice taupe, for instance, but let the color distract from the design itself. Oftentimes, you're gonna start with just like black and white, nerdy by nature. I wanna go into icons, cause that's what this is gonna be. But we'll just type in glasses and we'll try to find some that she wears. And again, these are just free assets that we can use. I like those. Ooh, these ones. They might be a little cat eye-ish, if you will. Our text might be introduced with some color. Just select that graphic off to the side. We can go ahead and change the color. Boom. We can start to put these together. A lot of people will have their imagery fight. It's like, are you supposed to focus on the image or are you supposed to focus on the text? We don't want people to have this struggle. So usually it's one or the other. Or what we do, we'll just jump in here. We'll We'll select these two by shift selecting, moving down, and we can like drop these sort of in the center if we want to. We could decide, do we want them to touch or not? We could use the arrow keys on our keyboard to kind of nudge these up and down. You want to make something interesting while still keeping it legible. Thanks so much everybody, we will see you super soon.